Hello and welcome to this quick guide on how to use photo mode in Crater. So photo mode allows us to take pictures of our character without necessarily having to have the camera from behind the character like you would get in a normal screenshot. Uh, to open photo mode you can press P and you can do this in either a game you're playing or in the creator if you're making something. When you press P, you'll find that the view changes to uh, your camera view now. And to take a picture, you just press the space bar. You should be able to move the camera around using W, A, S and D to move it forwards, backwards, left and right. And also using E to go up and Q to go down. It's the same control scheme as the drone if, you're, uh, if you've used the drone in either basic or advanced create modes. So we can move the camera and we can take photos. But there's more we can do with photo mode. If I press left alt, so the alt on the left side of my keyboard, that brings up this uh, photo mode um, menu. And within here, we've got a bunch of different settings and some additional stuff you can do with the camera. So to start with, we've got this poses tab. And if I click on one of these poses, you'll see that my character can change uh, the pose. So they essentially stand in one of these poses. If I wanted to get out of this menu to move the camera around, I can press left alt and that closes the menu and means I can now move my camera around. So I can position it and look at my, the pose of my character like this. If I want to, I can open this pose menu here and I can use the pose camera. So I select that to be on and that will then use the camera position, which is a part of that pose. So now when I change the pose, you'll see that the camera ch uh, position changes as well. Uh, and so this is kind of the position that will give this pose the best kind of dynamic angle. Um, but you can choose to use that, or if you want to use your own angle, you can turn that off. The camera itself is by default in fly mode, which is this using WASD, Q and E to move around, but you can turn it to selfie mode, which will make your character the central orbit point of the camera. So now when I move the mouse, I'm moving around the character and WASD, E and Q don't do anything anymore. So it's more like the character's holding a selfie stick. Whilst in selfie mode or fly mode, I can change the field of view, which is how much the camera can see, and I can change the roll angle, which can offer some really interesting, dynamic, cool stuff to the shot that I take. Uh, I can also change, if I change back to selfie mode, I'm just gonna reset to defaults by clicking the reset to defaults button, just to return the FOV and roll angle to, to how they are by default. Um, I can change, in selfie mode, I can change this selfie distance, so, bringing the number down brings me closer in or further away uh, brings the camera further away. So that's in selfie mode, so I can kind of choose the length of the selfie stick if you like. And finally, this settings tab means that I can add a timer, which will give an amount of seconds before the camera actually takes the picture. So if you wanted to like get uh, a time a specific thing or get everyone in on a photo or something like that. So that's the timer. There's this, uh, you can choose, uh, in the timer you can choose between 0, 3 seconds and 5 seconds for your timer. There's also this really handy toggle thirds grid. So if you're into photography or you want to look at composing photos using a rule of thirds, this is a really helpful visual guide for you to be able to do that. And you can also turn on and off the editor UI. So if I turn it off, uh, Spacebar will still take a photo uh, and I'll still be able to move around. But it just means that when I'm previewing the photo, there isn't the clutter of the UI on the screen. Once I've taken some photos and I want to take a look at them, I can click the View Photos button, which will automatically open a file explorer window on my PC in the exact location that the photos were taken. To view them, I can then double click as usual when I'm using a Windows uh, computer to look at my photos. And to return to the game, I can just close that file explorer window and that should then take me back to the game. 
And that's it, that's photo mode. I hope that was interesting and useful. I look forward to seeing your photos. If you share them on social media, don't forget to hashtag them with creator photography, or you can stick them in our Discord, discord.gg forward slash creator. There's a really cool channel uh, called Screenshots where uh, people post up things that they're making and game experiences they're having. I look forward to seeing them and I look forward to seeing you in Creator.